And well, let's get started. Hey horror freaks, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If this is the first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get a notification every single time that I post a video and I post every single week. As you can see from the title on today's video, I'm going to be giving you my ranking of the Final Destination franchise. If you have never heard of this franchise, basically it goes around the fact that anything and everything could kill you. That's a pretty basic way to explain it, but no. Really, it's five movies that they're going through every every different main character that has a premonition, and it's about the death and like the accident that is going to happen. We have roller coasters, we have on the highway, we have on a NASCAR race, common things. And that's the thing that goes around the franchise. And I think that why it's so popular and it works because it brings you situations that could happen, situations that you can do not on a daily basis, but you can get into. For example, one of the most famous scenes is on Final Destination 3. We have two girls that are on a tan tanning bed and of course they die. And because of this, I have seen so many people saying that they will never get on it. But I think that definitely the one that is even a meme is on Final Destination 2, the highway, basically the accident happens because we have this truck that has a lot of wood and trees on their own the back and they basically fall into the highway and they made the accident happen and because of this every single time that someone says a truck with that they're like no i have seen the movie i'm not going to drive behind it so probably is something that you have seen on the internet before so this is why in my opinion it's why the franchise became so successful because there are things that can happen and it's relatable at some point because like I said it's not it's not you don't get on a plane every single day well, well it's true there's people that's their job but you understand so for example we have one that dies on the shower we have one that basically dies on a pool so we even have one girl that dies by on um, laser eye surgery and because of that I am scared of doing one I'm just picky with my eyes, but definitely the movie adds on. But well, basically, like I said, I'm going to be doing the ranking of the franchise. Of course, spoilers will be since I need to talk about each individual movie. Now, by any means, I'm not saying which one is the best out there of each, but these ones are, in my opinion, the order I will rank this franchise. Like I said, these ones are five. And let's get into it. Now, on the number five, we have... Final Destination 4. Oh boy. This one basically goes on the 3D format, something that I dislike in horror. This one it's on the, well it's not NASCAR 100%, but it's on right on car races and we have th this man and he has this premonition that the cars are going to crash and like the whole stadium is going to fall and burn and everyone's going to die so like i said it's normal concept like nothing out of the extraordinary but the thing is that for me the plot is weak um the deaths are ridiculous i don't like when movies specifically horror movies get into the treaty effects because when it comes to the deaths and things happening they get ridiculous because they need in some way to get like passing throughout the image because you need to have the glasses and you're going to be thinking oh it's going to be on me i hate that specifically when you're watching it without the glasses and you're watching it just at your home at your house it's different but not in a good way because maybe watching it on theaters oh that's cool but watching it alone like uh, i don't know it kind of takes away a little bit for me and also the characters in this one for me i didn't like them as much so i didn't really care when they die or if not so for me, this one is, in my opinion, the one I like the less. Now, the next one on the number four is going to be Final Destination 2. This one is about the highway. We have this girl. She is going on a trip with her friends, and she's the one that is driving. And when she goes on the highway, we have the wood coming out on the highway. We have the whole accident, of course. And she, of course, had the premonition and she basically blocks the path so that no one can go through the highway so she can prevent the accident. But here's the thing. 
in every single one of the movies, in case that you have never actually watched them, the person that, do, that has the premonition is going to try to stop it, but of course it's going to fail. But still, there's people that are going to survive from the accident because it's still going to happen. The only thing that is going to change is who dies and who survives. But since the dead has the plan, basically the people is going to die on the same order as they were supposed to die on the day of the event. Meaning, of course, that she it was the, the person that has the premonition is the last one to die. But there's always this clue at some point that makes you know who is going to be the next one since, of course, it's not always clear in which specific order they die. And they make it also to build up like the tension, like sometimes they're going to make you think that two or three characters are in danger, but only one is going to die. Or sometimes they jump one and the other person dies. That's something that happens, like tricking the dead, they call it. So on the second one, it's the same thing, but we have one of the only survivor actually from the first one. This is the only time that actually that was introduced, that someone survived and was introduced in a lot of movies, not something that we never see ever again. We don't really have a connection with the first movie until the fifth one, but that's something that basically comes at the end. It's something that you don't know. But when it comes to the second, I think that... Of course, it's pretty popular, the highway scene and the meme and everything. But still, for some reason, I didn't like it as much. Like, I can watch it and definitely I could. But if you ask me which one I prefer, of course, this one wouldn't be my first choice. On my number three, and this one may be a surprise, it's Final Destination, the first one. Um, it, this is basically the first time that I do a ranking and the first one it's not on the top one spot and not be I don't put them because they're the first ones but rather because I feel like they're the best ones not just because they they're, they were the first ones but they have other things on the side but when it comes to this one I prefer others before this one um of course it's the original brings up this concept became very popular it became a hit but still i don't know i think that it's the fact that the other ones became a little more brutal and more creative with the deaths this is one the third this is the first one so of course things are different and things get elevated with the other ones so this one i don't hate it of course um but definitely if you ask me which one i will watch this one will be like, yeah, maybe if I don't have other option. Now on my number two spot, I have Final Destination 5. This one, I remember that when I watched it, I was like, you know what? I like it. I like the plot. I like it, the characters. This one, if I am not mistaken, has a 3D effect too, but it doesn't bother me as much as with the fourth one. I don't know. There's just something on the fourth one that I just... I, I wouldn't say hate it, but it's definitely for me the worst one. But when it comes to the fifth one, I like it a little bit more. And also, spoiler alert, because it comes to the full circle of the franchise. Because the first one starts on the accident of the Flight 180 that is going to France. And on the ending of the movie of Final Destination 5, the protagonist is moving to Paris. And when he gets on the plane... He goes on the fly 180 and when he's sitting the thing that basically starts the accident and when the premonition and the protagonist from the first one it's saying that the airplane is going to explode everyone needs to get out that incident it's happening at the same time and this is when it hits and you know what is going to happen you know that he's not going to survive because you know what is going to happen so I like it that. I like it the fact that it became a full circle without you actually knowing it until the end. I don't fully remember if it at some point it tells you that it will happen, if you understand. But for what I can remember, because I haven't watched it in that time, the movie doesn't even tell you a lot about that until the end. Like we have, like for example, other movies like the second and the third one that they mentioned the incident of the airplane. But in this one, they never mentioned, of course, because it happened before, but they don't make it obvious. So this one could be a prequel, but it doesn't become a prequel until the very end because it wasn't marketed as a prequel. I want it 
treated as a sequel and actually is the one that has the highest rating and it's the one that made the most on the box office and it's the end of the franchise. Of course, over the years, a rumor of a sixth one coming was on the internet and it was confirmed. If I am not mistaken, maybe a month ago that a sixth one will be coming. I don't have much details about it, but definitely a sixth one will be coming. I don't know how to feel about it since I like the fact that it became a full circle. I like it that, but having a sixth one, it was eventually going to happen since the success that this one had. But of course, I'm not going to judge something that we don't even have a plot or nothing at all, just the fact that it's coming. So of course, once it comes out, we can talk more about it and include it on the ranking. But for now, you know that a sixth one will be coming. But like I said, no more details. Once they come out, of course, I will be talking about it. And of course, my number one, and I think that it's pretty obvious, and I don't know if this one is an unpopular opinion, but Final Destination 3. I don't know why I just loved this one so much from the very beginning. Um, I think that maybe it's the fact that the incident is a roller coaster. I love roller coasters. But there's something about the plot, the deaths, the fact that the clues are in pictures. I mean, everything about it became so well done for me that it's the one that I have watched the most, definitely. And it's the one that I enjoyed the most. I definitely have watched it a lot. Like This one has become even a comfort horror movie for me. So I think that this one... Although, yes, the first one is good, I had to be honest and say that for me, the best one and the one I like the most, it's Final Destination 3. Like I said, this is, could be an unpopular opinion. I have never heard someone says this, probably someone out there thinks the same, probably not, who knows. But well, I think that this is it. Um, probably this was a short video, I don't know how much I have been talking. But this is a really short franchise, um, but I think sometimes a short franchise can be better. I mean, look at Scream. I did a ranking on the Scream franchise, but I think that when you have like five or like five movies, that's enough. Of course, franchises like Halloween and Friday the 13th and Elm Street, they didn't hurt that. They didn't get the memo. And even Texas Chainsaw Massacre, that we're having one that is coming on February 18. On Netflix and I think that Netflix forgot about that because we don't have like another poster or any marketing like where is it I need more content not just the trailer that came out that I did a reaction to it like Netflix what the hell are you waiting I need more but what well, of course I'm going to be reviewing it once it comes out like I said February 18 on Netflix and well, this is all for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know in the comments which one is your favorite of the franchise. Um, and tell me, have you ever had something that you don't want to do because of Final Destination? For me, like I said, it's the laser surgery. Like I said, I'm picky with my eyes. I know that I'm not going to be like calm or relaxed. I know I'm not. But definitely the fact that the movie is going to add a little bit more on that. The tanning beds, I don't like to get tan. I don't like the sun at all. Like, I don't like taking the sun. And like on the highway, well, I just hope that I never came across something like that because I'm going to get scared and just uh, being like, Amanda, everything is fine. It's just a movie. <laughs> Nothing is going to happen. Uh, but that's the thing. We find out this nation, anything is possible when it comes to dying. So it's, it's a very creative franchise. So I think that... This is why I kind of like it so much because there are common things that we do. Anything can happen and you can die any way possible. Well, well, this is all for the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to be see you guys on the next one. Bye.